given question for a simple jet carburetor the venturi throat of diameter 20 mm and the coefficient of flow is 0.8 the fuel orifice has a diameter of 1.13 mm and the coefficient of fuel flow is 0.66 the gasoline surface is 5 mm below the throat calculate air fuel ratio for a pressure drop of 0.08 bar when the nozzle tip is neglected the air fuel ratio when the nozzle tip is taken into account the minimum velocity of air or critical air velocity required to start the fuel flow when the nozzle tip is provided assume the density of air 1.18 kg per meter cube and density of fuel 751 kg per meter cube this is the question of simple jet carburetor and we know that at the air inlet we will use the suffix 1 at the venturi throat we will use the suffix 2 and at the fuel metering orifice we will use the suffix f If we observe the given data, throat diameter is given in millimeter. So at the venturi throat, we will use the suffix two. So D two is equal to twenty millimeter. Coefficient of flow at the throat. Now at venturi throat, air is coming from the air inlet, and the coefficient of flow that means coefficient of discharge of air. So for air we will use the suffix a. So C D A is equal to zero point eight. C D A. Fuel orifice diameter. So the fuel metering, fuel measuring orifice. The diameter is given. So we have to use the suffix f. So D F is equal to one point thirteen millimeter. coefficient of fuel flow that is the coefficient of fuel discharge is given so how to use the notation cd and for the fuel we will use here the letter f cdf 0.66 gasoline surface 5 mm below the throat so we know that the throat and the surface of gasoline that means gasoline is known as the petrol and this is the fuel in the fuel tank so the difference in between this throat as well as the gasoline surface is 5 mm that means the value of h is given 5 mm so from this we can write here h is equal to 5 mm pressure drop so this pressure drop known as delta p and it is given in bar 0.08 bar so standard unit is newton per meter square so we can also use the uh, unit that is 0.08 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square now the condition is given minimum velocity also known as critical velocity is when the nozzle tip is provided so we can calculate the minimum velocity or critical velocity only when the nozzle tip is provided now what is this nozzle tip so the height of the nozzle above the surface of the fuel or the surface of the gasoline is known as the nozzle tip so we have to always consider the nozzle tip when to calculate minimum velocity or critical velocity now air density is given so density of air so notation is rho so for air we will use the notation rho a is equal to 1.18 kg per meter cube and the fuel density that is rho f is given 751 kg per meter cube so this is the given data now what we have to calculate we have to calculate air to fuel ratio a by f ratio with these two condition first condition when nozzle tip is neglect neglected and the second condition when the nozzle tip taken into account so for these two conditions we have to calculate air to fuel ratio and we have to also calculate minimum velocity so condition is given 
when the nozzle tip is provided so we have to use the formula to calculate minimum velocity when the nozzle tip is provided now we will first calculate the air to fuel ratio when nozzle tip is neglected so first condition when nozzle tip is neglected so how to calculate air to fuel ratio so first we have to calculate mass flow rate of air and second mass flow rate of fuel then we will take the its a ratio so mass flow rate of air that is m dot a and when nozzle tip is neglected we have formula c d a that is coefficient of discharge of air multiplied by cross sectional area at the throat that is a2 under root of 2 rho a delta p so this is the formula to calculate the mass flow rate of air so here why a2 because the air is flowing at the venturi throat and at the venturi throat we will use the suffix 2 so here area is a2 now second mass flow rate of fuel so for fuel we will use m dot f is equal to coefficient of discharge of fuel that is c d f multiplied by a f so this area which area we have to calculate so here the fuel orifice diameter is given so fuel orifice area we have to calculate that is a f under root of 2 rho f delta p so we have to take the ratio a by f that is m dot a by m dot f so we will take the ratio to the right hand side now this a2 and a f we will write the formula so a2 is pi by 4 d2 square and a f is pi by 4 d f square and we have to write the same we have to continue the same formula so this pi by 4 pi by 4 is getting cancelled so here under root of delta p and under root of delta p both terms are getting cancelled and this 2 2 is also getting cancelled so remaining terms c d a so c d a we know value 0 0.8 d 2 square 20 square now remember standard unit is meter but here ratio we will consider and we have to take this d 2 and d f with same unit so 20 square and df is 1.13 square so cdf also 0 0.66 so we have to continue the value now under root of rho a that is under root of 1.18 and under root of 751 so when we calculate we will get the answer 15.05 we will move to the second condition when the nozzle tip is taken into account so we have to first calculate mass flow rate of air as well as mass flow rate of fuel where the nozzle tip is where the fuel is flowing so the mass flow rate of air we will take the same formula that is m dot a is equal to c d a a2 under root of 2 rho a delta p and the formula for the mass flow rate of fuel there is the change so what is this change m dot f is equal to c d f a f under root of 2 rho f delta p minus rho f g h f so here is the new term minus rho f g h f so we will first find out the value of this term so what is rho f density of fuel that is 751 g 9.81 meter per second square that is the acceleration due to gravity and h f so hf that is the gasoline surface 5 mm below the throat so this is the height difference in between this throat and the gasoline is used as a fuel so this is the fuel surface so because of fuel we have used here the term hf so h is 5 mm but the standard unit is meter so we will take 5 into 10 raised to minus 3 so what is the answer we will get in terms of newton per meter square that is 36.836 newton per meter square now we will calculate this whole term delta p minus rho f g h f because this term is in newton per meter square this delta p we have to consider in newton per meter square so 0 0.08 multiplied by 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square so that is equal to 8000 newton per meter square 
so when we calculate this whole term then we will get the answer 7963.17 now we will calculate air to fuel ratio that is the mass flow rate of air divided by mass flow rate of fuel so a2 and af we will simplify that is pi by 4 d2 square and pi by 4 df square so here d2 and df if we observe having the same unit and because this is the ratio we will take as it is that is in millimeter so this pi by 4 pi by 4 is getting cancelled cda and cdf so the values are given we will take as it is now the under root term so here delta p if we observe for this whole term here the unit is newton per meter square so for this delta p also we will use the same unit newton per meter square that is 0 0.08 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square now this rho a and rho f values are also mentioned in the question so when we solve for numerator 43969.4 and for denominator 2914.5 so when the answer calculated we get 15.08 now we will calculate minimum velocity of the air so the condition is given that minimum velocity or critical velocity when the nozzle tip is provided so we know that when the nozzle tip is provided we have to consider the term rho f g h f and how to calculate the minimum velocity or the critical velocity of air so the condition is that when delta p is equal to rho f g h f so we have to satisfy this condition to calculate the minimum velocity or critical velocity now we will assume the velocity at air inlet c1 is equal to 0 so the air is flowing from the air inlet to the venturi throat so the velocity at the venturi throat we will consider the notation c2 and we have to calculate this c2 now we have formula p1 by rho a is equal to p2 by rho a plus c2 square by 2 now with the use of this formula we will calculate the value of c2 now I will transfer this P2 by rho A term to the left hand side. So we will get P1 minus P2 by rho A is equal to C2 square by 2. But we know that P1 minus P2 is delta P. So delta P by rho A. So this delta P by rho A we will write rho F G H F by rho A. So I will write C2 square by 2 is equal to rho F G H F by rho A. And we have to calculate this C2. So I will transfer this 2 to the right hand side. And we will take the square root on both the sides. So C2 is equal to under root of 2 rho F G H F by rho A. So when we put the value. So rho F value is 751 G 9.81 and H F is 5 into 10 raised to minus 3. Because it is in millimeter. Divided by rho A. That is the air density 1.18. So when we calculate we will get 7.9 meter per second because this is the velocity at the venturi throat the unit standard unit is meter per second.